Welcome back, guys. So today we're going to be taking a look at the PC Engine Mini. So unfortunately, the Turbo Graphics and Core Graphics Mini have been delayed in the US and European markets. But in Japan, they did get theirs on time. So there's going to be a lot of similarities between the devices. The game list is going to be very similar, minus a couple differences there. But we do have Turbo Graphics 16 games here. So we do have English games and Japanese games. So we're going to go ahead quickly unbox this and then plug it in and test it out. But here is the PC Engine box. Nothing crazy special going on here. PC Engine, some Japanese there. That's about it. Pretty good stuff. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm trying to be careful. I like to try to keep these boxes uh, decent. You know what I'm saying? Aye. So there's that. And from what I'm hearing, the um, hacking of these devices, which is going to be the same for the Turbo Graphics Mini, the Core Graphics, and the PC Engine Mini, um, is coming along already because the hardware is very similar to the Sega Genesis Mini. So we should be seeing some stuff with this fairly soon. Hopefully they get those Turbo Graphics Minis out there a little quicker, uh, hopefully soon. Let's go ahead and adjust this angle. So here we go. We get a little manual, PC Engine Mini. Anything special in there? Huh? Looks like it's all Japanese. I can't, I can't read none of this. But I'm sure it just says, hey, plug it in and start playing. So who cares, right? Uh, let's get that controller out. So the one difference between the PC Engine Mini and the real PC Engine, and between this and the core graphics and the turbo graphics, is that the PC Engine originally, when it came out, it did not ship with turbo sliders. So if you get the PC Engine Mini from Japan or like Play Asia, uh, which they're also selling it, and they're selling the Turbo Graphics and Core Graphics Mini because those are going to release within a couple weeks in Japan. Kind of crazy. Like, come on, get us ours, right? Um, those ones will have turbo sliders because they shipped that way originally. This does not. So kind of want to compare that to an original PC Engine controller. Um, very similar. I mean, it's the same shape. Feels about the same uh, weight. <laughs> The mold, I don't have a original PC Engine controller, I just have core graphics controllers for the original systems, but very similar. Uh, the layout of the screws is all the same. Very nice. Let's see if, uh, I mean, this, this controller is like, what, like 30 years old versus this a little more, the D-pad's a little more stiff than this, but not crazily so. Buttons are feeling very similar. So I'm happy with that. The controller feels pretty good. Set that one down. So there's that. Sucks that it only comes with one controller, um, but it is what it is. They also sell additional ones by Hori. Don't have one of those yet, hopefully soon. Uh, we do get a power cable, no brick, I believe. Let's go ahead and get this little thing out. What else is in here? Oh, we do get a HDMI cable. Basic stuff. We don't care about that. Let's set that aside. So here it is. All right. <laughs> wow. The PC Engine Mini. Oh my God, even the little tab that locks in the Hue card, if you put a Hue card in there, is there. You got two uh, USB ports. So that's nice. The original, you only got one controller port on the original hardware. Uh, the extension bus, you have a, oh, nice. I, I like that detail. So I, I didn't think about this at first. Like, where's the HDMI and power? Um, they have that there to cover it up. That's how the original systems, uh, they had, you know, the power and the, the AV was on the sides. So on this and on the original, they had this extension cover. Um, and if you needed to pop it into like the CD system or like a, AV out type thing, you know, whatever. Um, the little additional things that you could use for the system. Uh, and this, you know, they, they maintain that detail with the little cover, but they have HDMI out and the DC in there. So that is that is really cool. Uh, they do sell the multi-tap, so you could do five player um, for like Bomberman. Let's go ahead and compare this to an original console, see how big it is. Like the original, Core graphics or PC Engine was a tiny ass system to begin with. 
this thing is not that much smaller. <laughs> it's a mini of a system that was already mini, right? So there you guys, you see like the, uh, the video outs on the side, on the back. I, I have the cover for this, but I use this on the Super uh, System SD uh, from Terra Onion, so I don't have my cover on there. But as you see, there's that, and then um, power was on the side. So wow, look at that. That is that is crazy. The details all there. They're very nice stuff. Obviously, the core graphics and the core graphics too. Um, the originals look slightly different than the PC Engine, but they were all the same size. That is cool. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Take a look at some gameplay. Okay, guys, so here we go. Upon first boot up, this is what I was greeted with. Nothing fancy, just pick your language and then we can get started. So, hey, we're, we're going with English. There. So here we go, the PC Engine user interface. So we can swap this to Turbo Graphics as well, but let's go ahead and look through this and look at the options real quick. So there's gonna be some duplicates. I'm not gonna name every game here. Uh, take a look, but some of them I know are pretty awesome. Galaga 88 is one of them. We're going to have some duplicates. On the PC Engine side, you're going to have games that are in Japanese. If you go to the TurboGrafx side, they're going to all be in English, but there's going to be games, for example, like Ease 1 and 2, where we have the Japanese one here, and it's also going to be listed on the TurboGrafx side in English. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of wish they would have done things a little differently, but it is what it is. Splatterhouse, Sweet Superstar Soldier, I can't say all these names properly, but Daima, Kai, Mora, whatever. It's like Ghosts and Goblins for the Super Graphics, one of the five games released for that. Awesomeness, Legend of Valkyrie, uh, Spriggan, Natopia 2, Gradius, uh, Ninja Raikou, Kenden, Tengai Makiao 2, Star Parodier, Spriggan 2, Snatcher, one of them that a lot of people are disappointed with. We don't have an English version. Damn it. Gradius 2. Choaniki, awesome. Akamajo Dracula Cross Cheat. It, Rondo of Blood, all right? Rondo of Blood, pretty cool game. Bomberman. And the one thing, too, is that's cool is uh, underneath the game, it'll show you, like, hey, you have this many save states, um, and it'll show, like, is it a one- or two-player game? Can you use the multi-tap? So you got all the information there. Uh, back to the beginning here. So there is that. We'll test a couple of these games out in a moment. But let's look at the settings and then go to the turbo graphics side of things so user manual language who cares display settings you have a few options here you could stretch that bish out uh, a few different things i wish they named what the settings were here but they don't i don't know that i'll use the uh pc engine gt or turbo graphics express display i'll just leave it here if you hit run you can get the crt filter which is going to be scan lines i'm not a big fan of those but you have that option. So there we go. Wallpaper, we have a handful of those. You can go all black, whatever that is, that, or this little uh, controller layout one. If you hit run, that little icon up at the top that looks I don't know what it looks like. Boobies, sunglasses, I don't know. That's like a, that's saying that screensaver's on. Okay, I'll leave it here. Menu design. So this is for the PC Engine side of the user interface. You can change it to Core Graphics or PC Engine. So it'll change the style there. So there we go. Credits, restore factory settings, and return to menu. So there we go. We're in the Core Graphics uh, style. Doesn't change anything here, really. Just core graphics style pretty neat though let's go to turbo graphics i love that little effect boom we're swapping so here we go uh the japanese side there's more games than on the turbo graphics side but that's that's all right i guess uh m2 did the emulation here we're gonna have to test that out i have some things to say about it and some follow-up to do but let's take a look at some of these games blazing lasers power golf r type victory run jj and jeff natopia Space Harrier and see, like I said, Easebook one and two, English. So we have duplicates here, a few of them anyway. New Adventure Island, awesome game, one of my favorites. Lords of Thunder, back to the beginning. So let's uh, let's test this game out. Hit the one button to run. Little hue card pops in. I dig that. Really like those little additions that they did. 
So let's jump into this. Everything's bright and vibrant um, as far as the visuals go. Got them nice chunky pixels. Let's see how this responds. Um, everything's looking good. Now, I know people are going to ask input latency. Uh, for me, I'm trying to get a feel for this. Like, everything feels fine. I, I mean, I, I do perceive input lag on some things, um, but I'm not overly sensitive to it. And for me, having played this game a ton and actually having the hue card for this game, uh, this feels fine. This is acceptable how how the buttons are responding. Um, you know, I know there'll be other people out there who are, you know, either secretly or openly anti-emulation um, who will harp on certain things and overblow a situation that's not really that big a deal. Um, and on this... Yeah, I, it's acceptable. I'm, I can't complain. We'll have to test a few more games, though. But yeah, the... Oh, shit. Input lag doesn't feel bad. Feels good. I, I'm fine with it. Oh, let's test the... Uh, like, we have save states. So let's grab the boomerang. Hit that stupid snail. Hit that guy. Uh, we hit select and run at the same time. Pops up the game menu. So we could save. We have four slots per game. Put it there. Bam. Return to menu or resume game. Let's go ahead and return to menu. So there's that. I just want to jump back into that real quick. Make sure the save states work. See how fast. Oh, pretty, pretty instant. Getting the save state back up. Um, as far as the visuals go, I'm not seeing anything crazy wrong with this. Looking and sounding pretty good to me. But let's go ahead and test something else out. So there we go. Lords of Thunder. Let's uh, super system card. Get that in there and then get the disc in there. <laughs> that is <laughs> that is cool. I really dig that. So I've heard a few things. Uh, a friend of mine, Super Dimensional, he had let me know that, hey, some of these um, horizontal scrolling shooters that he is noticing um, that there is shimmer in the game and he's tested a bunch he told me and i'm gonna have to do a like a follow-up video doing some comparisons uh, because he showed me a quick little off-camera video where footage from playing these games on the playstation classic were buttery smooth there was no shimmer and yeah i'm seeing the shimmer on the bottom there um but some of these games mostly these shooters were getting some shimmer action some people it, it won't bother them, to be honest. Um, and it's it kind of speaks volumes to the emulation that we get on the PlayStation Classic, where if it's looking and running better on that than it does on the actual mini console from the you know official release, that's kind of it's kind of crazy. M2 did the emulation here, and they weren't perfect with the Sega Genesis Mini either. But a lot of people have been enjoying that, so. Right now, am I fine with this? Yeah, I, I'm fine with it, but it was worth pointing out and I am gonna do a comparison video that'll go up uh, tomorrow, most likely, showcasing footage from the PC Engine Mini versus the PlayStation Classic. So you guys kind of get a better idea with some of these games. But again, input latency. Um, this is feeling fine to me. Everything's responding very well. This is an awesome game. I am seeing that shimmer um, at the bottom there. If he hadn't pointed that out to me, I may have not like immediately noticed that. It's not crazy. From what I'm hearing, some games are a lot worse than others. Games load up pretty damn quick, so that's good. Oh yeah, if you see that ship on the bottom, that shimmer is uh, out the ass. Yeah, it's, it's worse on this than it was on uh, Lords of Thunder. Wow, yeah. Some people are gonna be disappointed with that. I, I know, I know. Is it still playable? Is it still enjoyable? Hell yes. Hell yes it is. Still worth pointing out though. You can see that shimmer down there. Yeah. I mean for a, a product you're paying what 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 are these going for? Oh, man, I'm sucking at this game. These are going for a hundred dollars. You would think 
you would think they would get that stuff kind of, you know, down pat if other systems that are out there can already run these games very well, but, hmm. Let's see some Space Harrier. And then we'll switch back to the PC Engine. Sega game on the <laughs> PC Engine. Awesome. I wonder why it's like more apparent in those games, the, the shimmer action. All I know is, I, I mean, I have, I have core graphics. I have PC engine. I could play all these games on that, but I know there's, there's such a huge market for these types of devices for people who either, you know, grew up with these consoles or never had the chance of getting one. They just want to have something official. And I, I still think these are good options. There'll be plenty of people who say otherwise, and that's that's fine. I don't really care. But do I enjoy this? So far, I do. Go back to the PC engine. There we go. I should be getting popped into a super graphics, but whatever, right? Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of shimmer here, a little bit. I don't know how well that stuff will trans translate to the, the video compression on YouTube, but oh shit. Oh, you son of a... Ah, old man status. Ah. Uh. He's so much slower. <laughs> when you're an old man, you're slower. Still pretty cool. I, I mean, what what can you say about this with having both the Japanese and English version? It's going to be the same on the Turbo Graphics when that releases, which Japan's getting theirs pretty soon. Next couple weeks, I should have one as well um, to take a look at, but interesting that they did it this way but i still kind of wish the regions had their own specific set of games um but then at the same time maybe this is really should be looked at as a bonus that you wouldn't have gotten these otherwise so it's kind of kind of hard to really have a you know really be mad i mean maybe if if it just released with the only the english games and the turbo graphics side for the turbo graphics Price would definitely have to be cheaper. I, I don't think I would pay $100 for 20-something games for, for this system. I probably would. I don't know. It would be a lot harder to sell for a lot of people, though. So here we go. A little Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden, whatever you want to call it. Japanese version with the... The strange um, scrolling backgrounds. Um, still an interesting game. Nice to see this on here. Doesn't matter that it's Japanese. You can still play this. A lot of these games you can. So that part of it's not a huge deal, I guess. But yeah, I, I, I know. Oh, man. Yeah, seeing some of the the shimmer and whatnot in some of these games is, is going to be bad for some people. Like I said, we'll, we'll do a comparison uh, within the next day or so to give you guys as much information as possible. But there you guys go. Just wanted to kind of showcase some gameplay, how everything looks and works. Definitely needs a little bit more of a deep dive on things. Like I said, we'll do that comparison video in the next day or so. Um, maybe even do a live stream testing some more games out. Uh, interesting console. $100, though. Is it worth it? 
that's going to be up for you to judge. For some people, it's like, hey, I could do all this stuff on a Raspberry Pi uh, for a hell of a lot cheaper. I could do this on a $20 PlayStation Classic. And I get it. There's options out there. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So look forward to more content concerning this device. I'm kind of in the middle right now. I'm not sure if I'm 100% happy with this. I'm intrigued. I dig it. But mm, yeah, I mean, the game selection is okay. I mean, it, it is what it is. What can I really say here? I love this game. Love this damn game. It's duel. Why not? So let me know what you guys think. Um, really do appreciate you guys watching, hanging out, dropping comments, hitting that like button, sharing my videos. It all helps me out to continue doing what I am doing. So thank you for that. And with that said, guys, uh, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.